Hey guys, it's Frances, and I was recently contacted by Beauty Big Bang, and um, it's beautybigbang.com, and they offered to send me some products to review for you. Um, they also gave me a discount code, which I'll put on the screen, and I'll put it in the description bar below. Um, and I wanted to share with you some of the things that I got from them and a quick tutorial using a couple of the products. Um, I can't, I won't be able to get them all in today, but I will definitely get another video up with a product that I don't use. Also, they told me that if the code is used more than six times that they will host a giveaway on my channel. Guys, I don't get anything from the discount code. The discount code is for you guys um, and they'll host a a giveaway for you so if you use the code then there's a chance that you could win some free products which is kind of cool and I'm all for that so let me show you what I got the first thing is these water decals and I have never used water decals before I know I will pause a second for your shock and awe here well, one's facing me, one's facing you. I'm going to bring you in a little bit so you can see. I just thought these were so cool. I love the colors, and they are dream catchers, of course. But if you look on each dream catcher, this one is obviously an owl, but there's a wolf in here. It looks like a stag here. Is that a horse? And another stag. So I thought these were really neat. They're in d different sizes. Um, it, this one is big, bigger, little. They come with this clear top, and then you have to cut them, obviously. And I believe that they are clear. If not, they're a white base. I'm not sure which, but I have my I have two nails white just in case. Um, that's the first thing I got, and I'll be using them in this video. Let me zoom you out. The next thing I got was this. Flaky, these flakies and they came with a sponge applicator too. Hold on. I know it's gonna be loud Hold on. Let me pause you and take it out. So it's not so loud All right, here we go. This is what they look like And I will list the direct link to all of these items plus their item numbers below for you guys for sure All right, I'm gonna open this up for you I played with them a little bit, so there was definitely a little bit more in here, but I don't know if it's catching on camera. Let me zoom you in a little bit. That's really iridescent. And this is meant to be used over polish. Look how cool that is. I thought that was the neatest thing. Okay. And there's kind of a gold sheen in there too if you hit it the right way. I don't know if you can see it the same way that I see it. It's looking very greeny blue on camera. And the last thing I got are these nail stickers and they're clear. They come off the backing and they just stick onto your nails. I didn't think that they would gel with the other two um, items that I was using, but I will be using these in an upcoming video very soon. Okay, to get started, I have chosen colors that I thought would go nicely with these decals. I'm going to use two decals, one on my middle and one on my ring finger. And on the blue that I'm wearing is the sky's the limit. And this is a, a Sally Hansen complete manicure. And then this one is a Simple Colors, and it's called Tempest. And those are the ones I'm going to put the flakies over. I know that most people usually use them over black, um, but I thought it was a very fall look over black. I wanted to try something a little bit more summery and something a little... I thought that the flakies would look ethereal, very much like these... Um, decals. Very otherworldly. So I'm going to grab some wax paper. Actually the first thing I'm going to do is I know that most of the time these are used over gel polish 
or gel top coat. I'm gonna, I don't use gel. I haven't found one or I, it's not that I haven't found one. I'm not sure about it and I don't know that I wanna make the investment before I know if I like it or not. So if you guys can think of an inexpensive way I could get into gel, I would definitely look into that. So I'm gonna use nail foil glue. Um, you can also use yellow stopper. I tried both, it works with both. I'm going to use nail foil glue and I'm just gonna go over top of the colored nails. All right, so pretty much everything is dry with the exception of a little bit of my pinky, but I'm gonna start with my thumb and my index finger, so it shouldn't be a big issue. And I'm gonna use the applicator that they gave me. It's just a regular sponge tip eyeshadow applicator. You know, the ones when you get them at the drugstore that you throw away. And I'm just gonna tap it on. It's not like, like those um, powders that you have to kind of burnish it in. So if you can see, I don't know if you can hear that, it's kind of, it's super tacky. And I guess with, um, correct me if I'm wrong with gel, you would just tap it into the, the um, sticky layer. Look at how cool that is. So pretty. My gosh, I hope that the camera is picking that up. I'll zoom you in in a second. Here it is over that purple. I love it over the blue. Let's see what it looks like over the purple. Can you guys see that? Is my lighting okay? Holy crap, I love this. So pretty. Here. Oh, zoom your way in, didn't I? Look at how pretty that is. Oh my god, that's going to be perfect with the decals. Alright, let me get my thumb and I'll get right back to you. So I am 100% in love with this. I don't know that the camera's picking it up, all the purples and greens and blues, and I may have to take it outside. Um, I'm just going to brush off like the excess with a fan brush. And you can pick these up at like a craft store, pretty cheap, the fan brush that is. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's picking up the blue a little bit better, but there's such gold shift. There you go, it's a little bit better, you can see it. And I'm afraid to put a fast dry top coat on top of this right away, so I'm gonna use yellow stopper. I'm gonna go over that with the yellow stopper. And then I can come in with a fast dry top coat. Um, obviously you would use a gel top coat if you have one. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, so what I have here is just a wet cotton round that you would use to take off your makeup. And I saw Manisha M do this. I'm not nearly as cool or as talented as she is, but uh, I'm gonna try her technique. And I'm gonna cut out a couple of these and I'm trying to decide which ones I want. I kind of want, I don't think I'm going to get this, I think this one's going to have to go on a thumb at some point. I like the wolf, but it may be too big also for my middle and my ring finger. I don't know. I'm going to try the wolf and then the stag right next to it. And I'm going to cut them out individually and there's kind of a line showing you where to cut and I'm just using little cuticle scissors to do this. I think I'm doing this right. This reminds me of those um, temporary tattoos you used to use. You guys remember those? They still have them. That reminds me of. And then what you have to do is take off the plastic top and then lay this on here. You need to get the wet, the wet, the <laughs> blah, blah, blah. The back wet enough so that the decal slides are off. I think. 
I hope. There we go. It's starting to slide now. Let me get some tweezers. There it is. Come on. That's cool. There we go. I'm going to slide that. And I don't have anything sticky on this nail. Oh, look how cool. And I'm just going to press that on. And then what I'm going to do is come in. There's a little bit of overlap here. I don't know if you can see that. Get all the stuff out of the way. There's a little bit of overlap around the cuticle and at the bottom. And I'm just going to come in and dissolve that with some acetone and a cleanup brush. And that should do, just like if I was making my own decal, like I usually do with stamping, it should, it should dissolve it on and adhere it for me. This decal is beautiful. They have more decals than just these on the site so when you go on the site and check it out you can definitely try the decals see what kind of decals they have now for the moment of truth I'm going to put some again I I'm scared to put a fast dry top coat because they tend to to like suck things up and make things crinkle all right so I'm gonna go again with the yellow stopper on top of this and I believe you could do gel top coat on top of this too. I mean, it's not a metallic foil, so it's probably not as big a deal for crinkling, but I'm still afraid. Oh wow, it's even prettier with the top coat on. All right, let me go put on the other one and I will be right back. So I'm a goofball and I must not have taken that plastic coating off of the top of this decal and I put it on and I couldn't get it to stick for anything and I couldn't figure out why and then I just realized I didn't take the plastic off so I'm gonna show you how to lift the decal off with the traditional way I guess with water like a cup of water because I'm gonna try it that way now that I have the chance to So, so let that be a lesson to you that if you don't take the plastic topping off of it, you will not be able to get it to bend on your nail for anything. I even tried like acetone to dissolve around the sides and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. But it won't bend. Because you saw the first one went on beautifully. So I went ahead and I cut out a second one. And I have a shot glass full of water. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop this. Oh, I'm going to do it again. All right. Taking the plastic off. See, took the plastic off. I'm going to drop it in the water. And actually, I'm going to get a dry cotton pad to put this out on too because I think you need to dry it off a little bit before you put it on your actual nail and I don't know how long it's going to take before it starts to like slide off oh, did I put too much water in here? it sank <laughs> oh this is a comedy of errors come on There it goes, it just slides right off. That's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> so, a user error, not a decal error. 
Here, let me get my tweezers back here. It might be easier to apply with the tweezers. Oh, it's sticking to my finger. Come on. These oh, decals are gorgeous. And it's giving me a little bit of time to, to play with the placement, which is nice. I don't pull it too much though, because it will stretch. All right. I got that on. Oh my gosh. So pretty. All right. What do you guys think? I really don't have any cleanup to do for this one. I'm going to do just a yellow topper. And on this one, I also put when the yellow top when the yellow topper, yellow stopper dried, I put a fast dry top coat on top of it. And I did the same thing with these once the yellow stopper dried. I really do love this. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Now I want more decals and more flakies. Yes, please. Anyway, thank you guys um, for watching, and I will list uh, beautybigbang.com, all their information below. I'll list information for these um, items as well as the item that I did not use yet. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for spending your time with me, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.